Since the beginning of time, humans have wanted to conquer space. While that might have seemed impossible a few decades ago, Elon Musk is definitely not backing down. With Tesla's SpaceX Starship nearing its inception, interplanet travel might just be a reality in a few years. But the question is how will people live in this SpaceX Starship? Let's find out! Now, If you thought Elon Musk was only planning to initiate space travel with the Starship, that's where you're wrong. The truth is, SpaceX is working to build a permanent settlement on Mars. And the Starship rocket, which is designed to be a reusable rocket and spacecraft combo that's been under development at the company's facility in South Texas. We all know that Musk has been planning to populate Mars with the human civilization for many years now. And according to him, the first ever group of humans to start residing on Mars will need to reside in glass domes that Tesla is working to perfect. When Musk was asked what this meant, he explained that these glass domes will use the process of terraforming, which includes deliberately modifying the atmosphere of a certain planet to make it habitable for humans. On Mars, the process might involve blasting the planet's poles with nuclear weapons to cause the ice caps to melt, and induce accelerated warming to make it comfortable for humans to live there. And when it comes to the Starship, that's exactly the principle that's going into its design. Musk believes that the rocket might just be completely ready for space travel in less than four years, with experimental missions to the Moon starting as early as 2022. While Musk currently has no plans of building his own base on Mars, through SpaceX he plans on fueling the most important part of the process – transportation. His rocket aims to provide the perfect bridge between Earth and space, which will make it the only way for people to start establishing their own bases on Mars and maybe even the Moon. So you see exactly how Musk is planning to establish himself in the game? If you're still confused about what this might mean for the future of SpaceX, consider this. NASA has been trying for years to transport people to Mars. And once Musk has perfected his interspace rocket, it's expected that an organization as big as NASA will be the first to come forward and fund the remaining pieces of the puzzle. And in turn, other organizations and entrepreneurs will step forward to help the process. And who will benefit in the process? SpaceX, of course. As of now, Musk has given four extensive presentations on how the Starship will ensure human survival for a long period of time in space. Starship is expected to be the most powerful rocket in history. And the specs that Musk has given for Starship are definitely impressive. The vehicle will supposedly tower over 165 feet 50 meters tall, with a diameter of 30 feet or 9 meters. At his latest presentation in Boca Chica, Texas, Musk claimed the final version of the rocket will be able to launch 150 tons to Earth orbit, rivaling the capacity of the Saturn V rocket that once took humans to the Moon. But keeping all external stats aside, how will Starship ensure human survival? Before we tell you the answer to that, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. The truth is that when SpaceX will put people on the Starship for an extended period of time, things are bound to get a little complicated. How? Well, first of all, if Musk plans on his rocket being a way for people to set up bases on Mars, he needs to find a solution to all the radiation that people are going to be exposed to in outer space. Considering that we really don't know how this radiation will affect the human body, Musk needs to have a proper plan in place to deal with that. Not just that, but the people who eventually will travel in the rocket are going to need to eat, sleep, and exercise, especially because of the long commute. The long distance also means that astronauts won't be able to receive resupplies and the communication gap with the people on Earth will only result in more complications. NASA and researchers suspect that heightened exposure to radiation could lead to damage to the central nervous system and affect the brain. But ultimately, we don't know how because we haven't sent people into deep space for long periods of time. In reality, some kind of radiation shielding will be needed, 
and Starship's stainless steel exterior might not be enough to protect astronauts for a long time on the surface, as great as it might be. The only way to equip the astronauts to survive all of this is to fit the Starship with life support systems. But of course, that's another risk with the kind of weight that it will add to the vehicle. However, according to Musk, the kind of life support system he has envisioned will be fairly simple and straightforward. A huge advantage that Musk has is that SpaceX already has some experience with life support systems with its new crew capsule called Crew Dragon, which is designed to take astronauts to the International Space Station. But of course, taking that life support system and optimizing it for long usage is the challenge at hand. But the basic principle will pretty much remain the same. For one thing, both oxygen and water can be supplied in finite containers on a trip to orbit. Just enough to get people to their long-term destination. On the International Space Station, though, where people live for months at a time, a regenerative system is in place for things like oxygen and water. Meaning, they're recycled in a closed-loop system. Urine and sweat are recycled and turned back into drinking water while some of the water is split apart into oxygen and hydrogen in a process known as electrolysis so that people can breathe. According to Musk, the life support system on the Starship will be regenerative, but as of yet, there's no system in place to deal with emergency situations. Because once you actually start putting people into the vehicle, there are tons of hazards that might unfold and dealing with these hazards is the real challenge. Considering all of this, Musk still remains insistent that the Starship will be completely functional in a few short years. While the idea might sound ambitious, it's pretty obvious that SpaceX already has tons of resources to make it happen. All they need to do is fine-tune everything to make sure that their trip to Mars really is as productive as Musk has promised. <laughs>